Hi, this is Walt coming to you from Kanoi Pipes Command Central. This video is for, I guess your screen name on Pipe Maker Forum is Burba, B I R B A. Um, not sure what that stands for just yet. We'll figure it out. Not important. Um, in regards to your post about uh, laying out the poker shape on a piece of briar. Uh, I'd be sitting there a second to focus it. I got some paper here. I'm going to draw it out because if I uh, if I try to lay out something on a piece of briar for you, um, I want to go over a couple of things, and uh, I don't feel like uh, facing off the same piece of briar 500 times. So I'm just going to uh, I'll tell you what I'm just going to draw a piece of plateau here for you, and. Uh, I don't know why I always look at them going this way. To me, this is usually the bottom of the plateau. Um, I think in your case, your grain was radiating out like this. Um, just got me oak lit. Get me a drink. Some uh, Minute Maid lemonade, delicious. Okay, I think what you were going for there was, uh, let me see if I can remember what you were doing. Okay, yours was, yours was backwards. Okay, yours was backwards. I think. If I recall correctly. Okay, so it was backwards. And it was, uh, Upside down. See, I should have had. Here's was upside down like this. I can't remember. I should have had it in front of me. Um, let me see. I know you had. Yeah, here's what I got. You had a uh, a uh, poker shape going on here. I think you had a bend, a bend in your shape like this, something like that. Now, a couple of things I noticed about yours was your mortise went way down here. Actually, I think it um, went way down here. You left very little space here. What's going to happen is eventually um, you're going to end up cutting or sanding into the bottom of that mortise. You don't want that to happen. Um, also, your draft hole is coming out this way. Um, that's not good because what's going to happen is that mortise, there's your mortise, there's your draft hole, and when you go to stick your tenon in, go to stick your stem in, the end of it's going to come down right into here. There's your stem, and that's going to be covered up, and your smoke's not going to have anywhere to go. So it's basically just not a, not a good design in general. Um, personally, I wouldn't pick that block to do a, uh, a poker. Um, I would probably want a block and there will be blocks that have more of a straight uh, grain pattern to them and the uh, grain would follow the shape much better but if you are insistent on doing a poker um, actually let's let me let me give you something you can use uh, with just about any shape. Let me uh, get one drawn a little block profile drawn a little closer to scale um, if you haven't got you some spade bits already or something uh, something to draw a chamber with this is a, uh, a spade bit used for drilling some holes in wood and it's been ground I don't think I have one that hasn't been ground um, my workbench is a mess. Um, it's been ground uh, into this taper for a chamber. When I lay out a pipe, normally what I would do is, uh, and this this is not where I do it. Usually where I lay out pipes, I have a straight edge, and I do not have that. So I'm going to use this pencil as a straight edge. So normally what I do is uh, make a <laughs> what's supposed to be a straight line for my tobacco chamber. 
and then I would line that up and uh, follow the profile of that. So that's going to be the bottom of my tobacco chamber. This is going to go up there. That's, that's a pretty tall and thin tobacco chamber, but this is for illustrative purposes. Um, my draft hole I would take. Now, what you want when you make your draft hole is you want this side of the drill bit to come in at the bottom edge of your chamber. So you don't want to meet the bottom edge of the center of the center of the bottom edge of your chamber with the center of the drill bit. This is going to be a little off center. So let me turn this this way a little bit. You're going to have something like that rather than this. Okay, rather than come in like that, you come in like this. So the bottoms of those will meet up. If this is the angle I want on my block, what I'm going to do is I'll usually put a little mark up here where I'm going to start it, figure out my angle, line the center of that side up with the mark where I want it, and line up the bottom edge of this drill bit with the bottom edge of that chamber, and mark the center line of the drill bit. Go back to my semi-straight edge, and uh, draw what is supposed to be a straight line again from here to there. The reason why it's not coming out straight is because this is this is my workbench where I carve pipes. As you can see, there's a couple that have been laid out. These ended up being failures, so they're just kind of tossed to the side for a little bit. So this is my workbench where I carve pipes, and I have a nice soft towel here to protect uh, protect what I'm working on. Uh, so now that you have your chamber lined up what you want to go in and do is uh, make a hole for your mortise. Um, my my draft holes are 5 30 seconds of an inch. Uh, if you're working in millimeters, 4 millimeters is good. Um, my, uh, my mortise and tenons are 9 30 seconds. And uh, those are pretty standard sizes in the pipe industry. Um, what you would want to do with your mortise at this point, if you want to angle it, um, it gets kind of tricky. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to say, okay, I want it. See, here's this is about the line of my draft hole. This is about, you know, if I want to angle it, go up here and say, okay, the center of where I want that mortise is going to be about right here. So, at the angle that I want, I want the center of the mortise floor to almost within a reasonable degree line up with that draft hole. So now I come in with my straight edge and say okay there's the angle of my draft hole. And I'm only going to drill down this far with my mortise floor so that then your airstream going through your tenon into your mortise and then down to the bottom of your tobacco chamber will line up uh, pretty well. Now, uh, there are a lot of exceptions um, for a uh, for somebody who's who's drilling their first pipe. You might want to stick with a uh, straight pipe shape. Um, this here could give you probably a nice bent um, you know something that's nice and bent then I'd probably face that off and put a flush fit stem on it that'd give you probably you know, a nice bent pipe or something like that um, for, for somebody drilling for the first time uh, what I would do is go with a straight uh, straight design tobacco chamber, draft hole, mortise, you know, just straight. Um, until uh, until you've drilled a couple of those and get comfortable with it, what happens here in this case is that uh, your mortise ends up going this way. And you've got a little bit of a hole here so that when you look at the face of your shank with the stem taken off, 
you've got the outside of your shank, the hole for the mortise, and a little hole cut out here, uh, which is this, where you've drilled the airway. And um, uh, people working on pipes for the first time might not know how to handle that. You might sand into it. Um, there's things that you can do to finish that. that that's a long and lengthy process and explanation. Um, so I ask that you consider drilling yourself a pipe for, for a straight chamber. Um, even that block of wood that you have, um, this is your plateau um, with your grain radiating out from a point like this. You know, maybe go with a sort of straight Dublin shape. We can round off the bottom a little bit there. Make get a nice little point right there for style. And then you can actually make that a little bit fluid there. And come in this way. Follow that grain. Such a nice little curve in it right there. Come out. I would lop that right off. Don't even worry about the plateau right there. Take your chamber and come in like well, we're going to say. We're going to take our straight edge and mark where we want the center of our chamber to be. Our, our not not very straight straight edge. And then say, okay, I want my chamber. Come in right there, and then take your draft hole, line it up, line the edge of it up with the bottom of the chamber, not not centered, not the center of the drill bit with the bottom, but the edge of the drill bit with the bottom of the chamber. Mark the center of that. Mark the uh, the center. I can't see it. This is actually going to be on the briar, so you will have already marked this center point down here. Okay, so you've got both of your centers. Come in with your straight edge. Line that up. And now you can use the same exact line to come in and drill your mortise as well. So you've done drilled your draft hole, come in behind it and drill your mortise just following that same line to whatever depth that you want and uh, I think with something like that you could make yourself a nice plateau topped kind of a freehand doubling and you'll have some nice grain going up on it and then you'll have some probably mostly flame grain going down the shank some bird's eye on the top and the bottom uh, probably unless you've got a bald spot here in your block which I, I think from the pictures you might have um, a little bit of bald spot um, if not you'll have some nice tight bird's eye down there um, if you've got a bald spot, you just want to rusticate the whole thing. But um, if the grain looks good, uh, I'd probably go with something like that. But for, you know, for your first drilling effort, um, you probably want to stick with uh, with something um, with something straight, and uh, I'd work with uh, with bents a little bit later because you're really going to want to consider. Uh, how those holes line up and match up, and you know what you're going to do with this this end, and um, you know not all not all pipes are like that. Some some draft holes come out at more of an angle, and use that same. Oops, I went my kit pin cap. Use that same line for the uh, for the mortise as well. But. Uh, yeah, I would highly recommend if this is your the first pipe that you'll be drilling. Um, uh, go ahead with a straight one. I think uh, I think you'll be uh, much more happy taking that intermediate step 
Um, and if you have any questions on uh, um, spade bits or other drill bits, drill bit sizes, um, what people recommend, um, ask people on the forum. It's really hard to uh, to tell people's tone of voice when they're typing and um, when somebody sees something that's that's just uh, um, way way off <laughs> the the reactions you might perceive the reactions to be a little bit hostile when people are just trying to trying to prevent a uh, a catastrophic mistake um, so take that into consideration uh, I hope this helps and if you have any questions uh, feel free to let me know